earning a bachelor's degree, it has changed, and students no longer to need to spend four years at the same university or even do it all in four years at one time. Today, we're joined by Dr. Angela Sividan from Tulsa Higher Education Consortium at Tulsa Community College to talk about some of the different ways to earn a bachelor's degree. Dr. Sividan, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Okay, so it's, it's graduation season. We've got a lot of high school graduates, college graduates, even Tulsa Community College mm -hmm. graduates. It's, they're sitting at home thinking, okay, what does my next step look like? What does life after this part of my education look like? What do, the, what do those families and graduates need to be doing now? I think the families and their graduates need to be talking about, you know, what does that graduate want to do for a career? You know, what kind of job do they want to have maybe even five years from now, ten years from now? What do they want to do? And then think about the different pathways to get there, both academically and financially. And that looks completely different now than it did even 10 years ago, we, we were talking about during the break on you know, what that looked like, at least for us personally. Mm -hmm. what, what do those pathways look like now, today? Uh, today, students have so many options. They can start their college career in high school. They can actually start in the 11th grade and at no cost because the state regents provide tuition waivers for them for their junior and senior years. So you can start there, then you can transfer to TCC or you could just come into TCC get the rest of your two years, then you can transfer to any of the other universities here in, here in Tulsa. The Tulsa Higher Ed Consortium has members of seven different institutions here that we partner with to create different options and pathways for students to meet those goals. Uh, you talked about transferring. That even looks different now than it did. You say you have students from TCC that want to continue right. their, their higher education. What does the transfer process look like now? Now we have created over 150 degree, what we call degree maps. And so that's actually a map for a student to get from their first class they take until they graduate from a four year university uh, with their bachelor's degree. Tells them exactly what courses they need to take, uh, what courses could help them, what they could gain out of those things. Also, we have different milestones for them that they need to do along the way. We also have uh, different funding for students now to where students can um, have scholarships that will transfer from one university to the other. And um, actually on the TulsaHigherEd.com website, we have some of those opportunities on there where people can go on and just explore what options are available for them from TCC to other institutions to transfer and stay right here in the Tulsa area. Sure, you, you know, for a lot of people thinking about higher education or thinking about their future, how do you get from point A to point B can be kind of intimidating. And y'all have resources, that's what's important to know, is there are resources, there is a way to kind of take down some of those barriers that you think there are between you and a degree. That's where the Higher Education Consortium comes in. Talk about those resources and how important it is for people to know about them. Well, you know, I know that that was a big barrier for me when I started college is that I didn't ask questions. I just tried to figure it out on my own. And so until I found those people, our academic advisors, we have uh, both in-person and remote academic advising. We have um, different uh, faculty that spend time with students. We have different offices where they can come and explore their career services to look at what different uh, careers offer them and also like what they'll earn in those uh, careers. And I think that's one of the important things to consider as well. That is huge. One place we definitely, before we end, to send people is the website. Y'all's website mm -hmm. has a, a wealth of information if you are curious. Um, TulsaHigherEd.com. Okay, there you go. They've got everything. Uh, degree maps, mm -hmm. all the things of what someone's future might look like. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Thank you very much.